I want to talk a little bit about some of the challenges in planting a new lawn. Two challenges I want to talk about is seed placement and weed control. As you notice, if you look at this lawn here, number one, you see lots of weeds, and two, you see some bare spots. Well, where did they come from? First of all, they didn't come from the seed. I bought good quality seed. It has good germination, and it was weed free. So, although I planted it, and it looks obvious that what I planted has, got, has germinated real well, I also have weeds, and I also have bare spots. So what happened? Well, here's what happened. Number one, I brought in new soil. Because of my timing, I couldn't let that soil sit enough to let stuff come up, let the weeds and whatever else was up there to come up and kill. So really, I'm stuck with whatever was in that soil, and I have to deal with that, and that's what I've got here. All of these seeds, all of these seeds were in the soil, except for the new grass plants that I planted. That's a common thing you're going to need to expect. You really can't deal with it right now at this stage. You'll have to wait till three or four cuttings before you can spray the weeds out. Except, you know, you can go along and pick them out when they're young like this, which I've been doing, but as you can see, I've got a pretty big battle ahead of me, and I won't do that for the whole lawn. All right, so that explains the weeds. The weeds come with the soil, especially in the spring. If you're going to do anything, you're going to get lots of annual weeds, so you'll just have to deal with it. The second thing, why is it that it looks nice and full here, but up here it looks bare? Well, a couple things could happen. Number one, when I was spreading it with my spreader, maybe I missed some, maybe I had some problems with my spreader. In fact, I did have some problems with the spreader, and I needed to redo something, redo it. It tells me I probably should have seeded a little heavy. The second thing is that in this part of the country, we get some heavy thunderstorms this time of year. And although I put a mulch that would help stabilize the seed in its right in its place, I've got a slight slope here, and those heavy thunderstorms can cause the water level to float seed down. And that makes sense. It looks like it looks like I've got a downward slope, and it looks like I've got better seeding on the downward side. That very well could have been just because of the heavy downpours picked it up and moved it down. Well, I've got to expect that. What I did last week when I saw some of these bare spots is I started seeding some new grass seed to it. And those, I went ahead and just went over it again. Assume that you're always going to get some bare spots. Make sure that you buy a sufficient amount of seed and be prepared even at the early stage. Once you start seeing it come up, when you start seeing the bare spots, see if you can go out there and spread some more seed. Your soil is moist, you're paying attention to your watering program. Go ahead and try to do that at the early stage. Worst case is, you may have to wait till the next season, in this case fall. I still may have some bare spots if I haven't addressed them enough. And I'll go ahead and seed some more there.